Hey YouTube, Swiss Topper here, and yeah, I know it's been a while, but uh, with the Ponage Olympics on again, I thought it'd be a great time to jump back into the wonderful world of Ponage. So, today's lucky user is CanBy85, and as always, uh, a link to his original video will be found down below. So, let's get started, shall we? Mutations are copying errors in the DNA code uh, that occur as it's replicated. Well, yeah, that is one form of mutation, but uh, don't forget the other forms of mutation that happen outside of replication, such as from radiation, uh, viruses, transposons, mutagenic chemicals, and so on. You get the idea. The neo-Darwinian theory of evolution says that random mutations are the driving force behind evolution. Sorry, but when you say neo-Darwinian theory of evolution, do you just mean evolution, as accepted by the vast majority of biologists, and indeed the rest of the scientific community? I mean, is there really any need to jazz it up like that? That is to say, random mutations are responsible for the diversity and complexity of life on Earth today. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we could go into details of natural selection, sexual selection, domestication, and so on, but yeah. Whatever. Does this hypothesis stand up to the reality test? It most definitely does not. Oh, there was a test? And it failed? Oh my god, does the rest of the scientific community know? What have they been doing for the last hundred years? Do you think, did, did they even bother to, I don't know, test the theory themselves or collect supporting evidence? This is incredible. According to geneticist Dr. J.C. Sanford, random mutations consistently destroy information. Oh, oh, no, 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 see, it's okay, because uh, J.C. Sanford's claims aren't actually taken seriously by the rest of the scientific community. You see, it turns out he's a bit of a young earth creationist. Uh, he actually testified in the Kansas evolution hearings, and, um, and I think it was him who said that we were created by a special creation, by God, and then he went on to say that the world was between 5,000 and 100,000 years old, which is I don't know, quite, a, quite a large margin of error there. I want to really sort of came up with those numbers. Do you think maybe he just made them up? And do you think maybe he's accusing uh, geologists, uh, radiochemists, and astrophysicists of being wrong about the age of the Earth? I mean, he wouldn't do that, would he? Would he? It's well known that the vast majority of mutations have a negative rather than a positive effect on the organism. Equally true, however, is the lesser understood fact that most mutations are very small and thus have a very negligible effect on the overall organism. Wait, what? You just said that the, the majority of mutations have a negative effect, and then in the exact same sentence you said that they have a negligible effect. Well, which one is it? Is it a negative effect or negligible? I mean, or, or do you simply pick whichever one you want it to be, depending on whichever argument you want to fight against? You're not being very consistent here. What is, what is that? What the hell is that? What are you, what are you showing there? That, that graph makes no sense whatsoever. Where did that even come from? Why are, you, why are you showing that? Thus the name nearly neutral. Such tiny changes are not large enough to make enough of a difference in the organism for natural selection to go to work on them. Okay, so now we're getting to the, the heart of the matter. You're arguing that mutations don't have a large enough effect to be picked up by natural selection. So in order to prove you wrong, all I would have to do is find a nice simple mutation that has a huge noticeable effect, right? Right. Alright, so here is a nice little example. Sickle cell disease, otherwise known as sickle cell anemia. Now, this is a disease caused by mutation which is, well, I guess you would say it's a bad mutation, right? Well, it's not quite clear as that because you can be uh, heterozygous or homozygous for this disease. If you are heterozygous, then you have a definite fitness benefit when carrying one single sickle cell gene. Uh, it protects you against malaria, apparently. You can read the whole article if you want. I'll put it down below. Now. So this mutation can give you a benefit and it can also give you a, well, a drawback. But what, what type of mutation is this? Well, let's scroll down a bit, see what we can find. Oh, 
and it is a point mutation. What is a point mutation? Let's have a look. A point mutation, or a single base substitution, is a type of mutation that causes the replacement of a single base nucleotide. That's right, it is a simple mutation which gives a huge benefit or drawback to the organism. Remember, the idea behind evolution is that natural selection, or survival of the fittest, weeds out the bad mutations and rewards the good ones. Yeah, you're basically right here, except for the fact that mutations aren't inherently good or bad. They're just simply changes that may or may not be beneficial depending on the you know, environment that the organism is and the uh, certain selection pressures. But inherently good or bad, no, that, that's just silly. It's purely unguided, and the only thing that natural selection can see is the overall fitness of the organism. No, see, it is most definitely guided here. It's where the whole survival of the fittest thing comes in, or more accurately, survival of the best adapted. See, it's a positive feedback that guides evolution to create species which are more suited to their environments. That's the whole idea. If a mutation is too small to affect overall fitness, that mutation is effectively invisible to natural selection. Initially, yeah, sure, but what about when the next mutation builds on the first, and then a third mutation builds on that, and they have a whole new code on, and that can have huge effects. Unfortunately for Darwinists, that winds up accounting for the vast majority of mutations, as you can see in this diagram that I've got up. What the hell, dude? This graph makes no sense at all. Why are you even using it? The few mutations that do fall outside of what's called the no selection zone are almost universally bad, not good mutations. It's interesting to note that the proportion of beneficial mutations that are large enough to actually be selected for is much too small to even be represented on the graph. So what, we, we, have, we have a normal distribution which somehow stops on one side of the graph for no particular reason except for the fact that it supports your argument somehow. And you think this lends credibility to your video. Is this how you think science works? You just show graphs and then make your point for you. Well, you know what? I've got a graph for you. Think about it. This ultimately means that small mutations are gradually chipping away at our genome, and natural selection is powerless to stop them from accumulating. This will, in the end, spell the doom of all life. I got a sing the doom song now! Doom, 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 Just as we all individually have a lifespan, so too does life itself. In fact, within the speculated vast time span of human evolution, our species should have died out many times over, from an overabundance of damaging mutations. Oh my god, we're all dead! Several times over, already. You know, unless of course you completely misunderstand almost everything about evolution and modern science for that matter. Listen, okay, so you've read J.C. Sanford's book, you liked it, it appealed to you. I'll tell you what, how about you go read a book from, you know, the other side of the whole debate thing. Let, let's see if you can read some, um, I know, something by Dawkins, uh, The Greatest Show on Earth. Apparently a fantastic book, personally haven't read it yet, planning to get my own copy soon. Give it a try, you know, see what the other side says. Either way, keep learning. Do, 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 do. Ooh, what's that?